Labor unions in Argentina are furious with the government of Mauricio Macri. The economy is shrinking, and Argentina is reducing spending and increasing borrowing from the International Monetary Fund to pay the bills. Romina del Pla is a teacher who has taken to the streets of Buenos Aires to demand better wages. This shows the discontent workers have with Macri's government. This is the beginning of a plan to fight the austerity measures he's implemented. For the government, the priority is to defend bankers and multinational companies, not people like us. Mauricio Macri took office three years ago with a promise to improve Argentina's economy after years of double-digit inflation and recession. But this year, a bad drought sapped Argentina's grain export sector, and the peso currency depreciated almost 50 percent due to a lack of investor confidence in emerging markets. Macri says he's been forced to seek help from the IMF and implement shock austerity measures to prevent a major financial crisis. This is the fourth strike against his policies. Desocupación, el aumento de la inflación, unemployment, an increase in food prices, currency devaluation. These have all had a huge impact on low-income households. It affects the lives of the millions of people that live under the poverty line. These strikers include truck drivers, state employees, teachers and doctors. We were able to negotiate a 25% salary increase, but we know inflation is going to be well over 40%. But it's not only that, the government has shut down the health ministry. They're putting people's lives at risk. Mauricio Macri is banking on an upturn in the country's finances, with some forecast for next year. There will be presidential elections, and he's expected to run. The big question is whether it will be enough to help him regain the votes he has already lost. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.